Damn, I'm taking the stairs. So, in theory, isn't the incinerator down here? It's open. Big and open. It's locked. Okay. Well, let's try the obvious place. This door is different, new and all the others. This must be where Red's been leading me all this time. I can't get a hold of it. I need something to leave it open. A note, you say? Oh, th thank you. Very, very, oops, very useful. Mm, still got my crowbar, right? Oh, maybe if I cut the power. Power's going that way. God, as long as you don't go all Silent Hill on me, I don't mind. I uh, presume this must be the power room. Good evening. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my throat box now, but the words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The underworld already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change little. I hate you, Red. pretension, and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here. So the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors. As replacements go, you shall be angrily abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and the voice you knew only is red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. No. You see, so I have so. for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They, and parts of my head, are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend. But now, the time for chit chats and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death's door for so long. Please, uh, let him invite me in for tea. Really? Really? I get to kill you? Ooh. Ooh, you burn as well. Why would Red want me to kill him? Why like this? What can I do? Ooh. What a lovely sound. Burn in hell, you bastard. So, marshmallows, anyone? Mm. Roasty toasty. Red, I'm so sorry. Whatever happens to you down here, it's over now. I happen to you down here. Ah! Red's ashes. How can I them, you know, ruin them in some way? Can I burn them? Christ, what am I thinking? Yeah, you're right. Uh, burning's not good enough. Can I urinate on them? Fine, I'll take the key. Ah. Uh. Mmm, I enjoyed that. Mmm, so I need a way of opening the door. Looks almost like meat hooks. Mm, well, that you go, I guess. I have a key now. So, where can I use this key? Unless it's on this door, which cuts the power. Ah, it must be. Mm, the key Red was guarding for me. Was he trying to keep me keep hidden? Or was he really trying to protect me? Let's see, he was a raving psychopath. Let's have a guess, shall we? I see Red now sitting here guiding me. I probably wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for him. Uh, what's this? Let's see. Here, my friend, go through Spider Cave. It is very dangerous. Do not worry, spiders are very friendly. Ah ha ha! Yes, thank you, Red, very much. 
Uh, let me die, please. I did. I ended your life in a spectacular fashion. If only I could bludgeon you, it would have been much more fun. Hello? My dearest friend. Oh. Uh, more reading. You'll have to pause the video, I'm afraid. And the second page. Oh, you gotta feel sorry for him now. Well, I don't. You might. I thoroughly enjoyed him roasting. Tom Redwood. Hmm. Oh well. Nothing else in here. A door. Reams of books. Where did Red Scavenger leave from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collection, collected works of Shakespeare. Hmm. Hello. Isn't that like... Ah, okay. Swiss Squelch. This must be where Red slept and peed his bed. It smells like a sewer. Did Red sleep on this? Maybe he just didn't sleep. Ooh. The chains on his arms are visible now. Now they're out of choice. Father looks on a gas. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. What the man has released. The only one who can stop it. Howard knows the real fear. <gasps> if I've never seen another one of these things, I don't know. I don't like them, but at the same time, I know that I'm leaving part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? You didn't have to touch it. I didn't make it. Oh, wait, yeah, I did, so... <laughs> yeah, unlucky. I don't know. How many hours did he spend on his neck in the noose trying to end it all? He couldn't. He wasn't allowed to. No wonder he's getting hungry. What a final meal. Rationed slugs. Still, name red. Perhaps he enjoyed them. Perhaps he did indeed. Alright, what's fun this then? It's electrical panel. Funny place to have one. It is. Can we demolish it? I guess we can't break everything. Is this red shitter? Mmm. Bog. At least he had a hole to do it in. So what are we going to do about this power then? I mean, sensibly. Can we just cut the cords? Wait, we cut cords not with that. With cutters? Mmm, okay. Saw. Crowbar. Apparently I'm not thinking straight. Screwdriver. Electrics, maybe running to the door. I don't really want to cut a live panel. That seemed like a fantastically bad idea. Hello. The door should be open now. I need something to leave it open. Aha! Good lord. I might as well read this out to you then. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been, there should have been two questions. Fears, doubts running through me. What did I get two from? Sorry, I'm reading things on there. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than it answered. I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing, deep down, that the pain I'd caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd have felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. Really, you would like to burn alive? Yeesh. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt that I'd find I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was, he was in, inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until this, that point was just symptomatic of what lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Dun dun dun. Ooh, hello. Is that note? 